House GOP leaders visited the southern border in Texas where they called for Homeland Security Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas to resign for failing to secure the border. There were a record number of arrests of illegal immigrants and asylum seekers in the last fiscal year ending in September. And last month's detention numbers were the highest ever for any October. Mayorkas maintains the border is secure. Fox 4's Bill Malusian has more from El Paso. GOP Minority Leader Kevin McCarthy and a delegation of House Republicans in El Paso today, touring the busiest sector along the border and meeting with frontline Border Patrol agents. At one point during their tour, a makeshift camp of Venezuelan migrants yelled to them from across the river in Mexico. At the conclusion of the tour, Leader McCarthy held a press conference where he took aim at DHS Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas. Today, I am calling on the Secretary to resign. If Secretary Mayorkas does not resign, House Republicans will investigate every order, every action, and every failure will determine whether we can begin impeachment inquiry. The GOP border visit caught the attention of the White House and El Paso's Democratic Congresswoman. McCarthy has no plan. The Republican Party has no plan. They do nothing except do political stunts. Republicans are doing what they always do. They parachute in, they throw ten temper tantrums, and they offer zero solutions. According to CBP, the El Paso sector saw more than 53,000 illegal crossings in October alone, a 280% increase over the year prior. Fox News has seen multiple breaches in the border wall in this sector, breaches migrants used to sneak into El Paso illegally. Fox's cameras have also repeatedly witnessed groups of illegal immigrants crossing and successfully evading Border Patrol here, running and escaping into residential neighborhoods, sometimes with no Border Patrol agents around, making them presumed gotaways. And Minority Leader McCarthy went on to tell me that if he is elected speaker and once Republicans take control of the House in January, what he's planning to do is hold congressional border hearings physically down here at the southern border, he says, in an effort to force Democrats to come here and see the border crisis firsthand for themselves. Reporting in El Paso, Texas, Bill Malugin, Fox News.